You back? I haven't been back ages. Obviously, that's the sort of message you could have sent in response to my are you back yet one. And by one, I mean about 80. Oh, it's four. Oh, so you did get them? I went to the pub. We said we'd meet there. So what are you doing? Just sitting. I'm sorry for earlier. Taking me back into the hospital and leaving me to walk home, you mean? I meant the whole situation. You told me to take her. What was I meant to say standing there when we'd already stopped? You told me to stop. Have I failed some sort of test here? No, Robert, you passed it with flying colours. I'm just printing out your certificate. Your badge will be here next week. <laughs> I'm sorry for the mess which I've caused. Did you go in? Where? To the scan. No, of course not. I stayed outside. What, in the car? Yeah. It's a boy, by the way. I'm only telling you because Vic knows, so... And how does Vic know? We went to the pub. I was looking for you. Obviously, I didn't want to know, but... Rebecca... Wow. You're having a son. Look, uh, work's shot for the day and you're obviously feeling the same, so, uh, going to the pub? Nah. Oh, come on. Get some tea, couple of drinks. I've missed you today. We had a laugh this morning. All it took was burning a load of money. All right, we'll, uh, we'll stay here, ordering. No, no, you go and spread the news. That's not what I'm doing, Aaron. I'll see you in a bit, yeah? So you come in? I'll catch you in a bit. back. Hey, customer services day off, is it? Well, it's about a 20-foot walk. And there are a couple of stairs. Wouldn't want you to put your back out. Hmm? I'm just sick of lazy people, that's all. And this has got nothing to do with you having your head together earlier with them brothers. You're soft on the beardy one, aren't you? Well, that one can look after himself. Well, and so can my dad saying that. Your dad? <sighs> Harriet is going to end up getting him reported. What for? She didn't say she would. Well, then she didn't say she wouldn't, apparently. I just have to keep telling myself that he's not in trouble if Ross just keeps his mouth shut. Debbie, no, for goodness sake. What? She's a vicar. She used to be in the police. This is not going to end well. And I'm telling you now, I don't mean for her. So this is just a feeling, then? Well, do you think he can behave himself to her standards? Well, she seems to like him. I mean, maybe her standards are low. I didn't mean that like that. Sneaky little cow. Who? She's already called them, look. Well, maybe they've just dropped round for a brew. You know what they're like. Oh, I think that'd be a bit of a coincidence, don't you? Yeah, I suppose it would. You know what? I knew this would happen. Well, you're gonna... You're gonna warn your dad, then? No. She's not so squeaky clean herself. How'd you find the number for a bishop? 